Hi everybody, welcome back for math. Um, today we're going to pick up where we left off last time. We're going to do topic four, lesson two. We're going to continue to add two-digit numbers using models. Remember, models in math are pictures. Um, and so this is what, what we've known how to do. We can do this confidently, right? We can use our base 10 blocks to make a picture. Um, we can use number lines. Something that we can show here without, doesn't have to have numbers, doesn't have to have words. A model is some kind of picture. So here's our problem. Wendy picked 35 pairs. Tony picked 49 pairs. How many pairs did they pick in all? Use place value blocks to help explain your work. So place value blocks are base 10 blocks. I'm going to read through the problem once more. Wendy picked 35 pairs. All right, this is Wendy. Tony picked 49 pairs. All right, I'm going to underline that. That's Tony's number. How many pairs did they pick in all? This makes me think that we need to add these together to figure out what Wendy and Tony together had. So my equation is going to be 35 plus 49. Well, I need to use place value blocks to help explain my work. So I'm going to draw 35, three tens, five ones. And I'm going to draw them just like this in the shape of a 10 frame. That is not up for discussion. This is the way we're doing it. Here's a row of five. For a 10 frame, we have five here and then five more right below it. My tens are all about the same size. And my ones are a strong dot. I'm not drawing squares. I'm not drawing any other shapes. All right, 49 has four tens and nine ones. So I'm going to draw them in the shape of a 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like that. Uh, the only difference is if you want to do them, uh, your 10 frame up and down. like that, that's okay also. Let me just scribble this out so I don't think that that's part of my problem. All right, so now I need to put these together. Well, that's easy enough. We're gonna start with the ones. I see a row of five and a row of five. I know that's 10. So we're gonna have more than 10 here. We can't have more than nine in the ones place. So I'm gonna take these and put these ones together to make a 10. And I'm gonna move it over here to the tens place and I'm gonna draw it where I know I'll remember to count it. So these ones are now in the tens place. I didn't make any extras. And down here we have one, two, three, four. So we have four left in the ones place, and we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So when we have an eight in the tens place, that's 80. So all together, Tony and Wendy have 84 pairs. All right, we're not gonna go through this because I just walked through all of those steps together, but they're good steps if you get stuck when you're working independently. Come back to this green box. All right, Ken adds 43 plus 27 and gets 60. Is he correct? Well, let's figure it out first. 43 plus 27, I don't know why I feel like I always have to copy the problem again. Four tens, three ones. No, I'm gonna skip, stick to doing it horizontally. And nope, that's not four tens, three ones. That's three tens, three ones. There's four. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Two tens, two tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now if we put it together, we're going to start with our ones. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can't put a ten in the ones place. So we need to regroup ten ones to make a ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all of them. So I'm going to circle these and we're gonna turn them into a stick of 10 over here. 
I'm not going to count these anymore because now they're over here in the tens place. Okay, so we have a, how many ones do we have left? Zero. So, so far that matches. And then we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Let's count that one more time because Ken got 60. We should have seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have seven. So is Ken correct? No. 43 plus 27 equals 60. Uh, <laughs> silly me, equals 70. All right, and we could, we could say more. We can say there are six tens. And he's, he's doing what I told him to. And ten ones, which makes 70. Okay, all right. We're going to go through some practice together, and then I will set you free. It says add using place value blocks and draw the blocks or use another way. So they've modeled a couple of different ways that we're going to go, we're going to trace over. 12 plus 23. We're going to do a 10 and two ones for 12, and a 10, and or two tens and three ones. So all together, we have one, two, three, four, five, ten, five in the ones place, 10, 20, 30, so a three in the tens place. We didn't have to regroup anything, so that wasn't too bad. All right, this one has it broken up into the uh, value of the different places, which we call expanded form. I'm not gonna trace this. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. 18 is the same thing as 10 and eight. 10 plus eight. Let me get a pen or a marker so I can use a black colored pencil so you can see it better. Ten plus eight is eighteen, right? Forty-two is the same thing as forty plus two. We can add the tens place and add the ones place to figure out how much there is all together. 10 plus 40 is 50. Eight plus two is, gotta know those facts guys, come on. 10 plus, eight plus two equals 10. 50 plus 10 is equal to what? 60. So the answer is 60. This is similar to what a grown-up would probably do in their heads. They might tell you differently, but this is this is really um, something. If you know your facts, this makes it in your head pretty easy. All right, we're going to do this one with both of the ways. Thirty-three plus forty-eight. So I'm going to first model thirty-three. You do not have to do it both ways. You do what's the best way for you. We are not going to add the numbers by stacking them up. We call that the standard algorithm. We're not there yet. So of the ways that you have learned at school, you can choose your way as long as you can show it on your paper. All right, now we need to put our ones together. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got to circle 10 and move them to the tens, to the tens place. So I'm going to use these eight and just grab these two. I know making these circles can be a little bit tricky. Um, just do your best, you've got this. And I'm moving it to the tens place. And I have one left in the ones place. And I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81. I'm gonna do it this way as well. 33 is the same thing as 30 plus three. That's the expanded form. 48 is 40 plus eight, 30 plus 40 is 70, three plus eight is 11, 
70 plus 11, or we can do 70 plus 10 plus 1. 70 plus 10 is 80, 80 plus 1 is 81. Okay, either one of those is fine. The number line way is also fine, as long as you can show it in some kind of picture on your paper. All right, here's what you're going to work on independently. 4, 5, 6, and 7 are just like 1, 2, and 3. For this one, you are going to draw what's missing. The first add end is this. We don't know what the middle one is, and the sum is this. So you're going to have to think to yourself, if you have this many ones, how many more do you need to get to this? If you have this many tens, how many more do you need to get to this? So think about it like it's got the symbols in the middle. This plus something equals this. Okay. All right. Number nine says Toby planted 28 trees. Juan planted 36 trees. How many trees did they plant in all? You're going to solve the problem and you're going to show your work. Number 10, Jenny has 13 tennis balls. Sal had 16 tennis balls, but he gave seven of them to Joe. So we have three people, Jenny, Sal, and Joe. How many tennis balls does Jenny and Sal have now? Number 11, write an addition story using two two-digit numbers, then solve the problem for your story. So if you want an example, number nine, number 10, our examples, and then this one that we did on the front. These are all story problems that use two-digit numbers. All right, and number 12, which is the same as 28 plus 16. Choose all that apply. And they even drew it out for you. Okay. All right, guys, um, I hope this is good practice and a good refresher. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.